Greetings, human intellects of this world. You, distinguished individuals with a thirst for knowledge, possess a remarkable capability for observing the world and its happenings. Through the information gathered from your senses, you have developed the skill of passively observing occurrences and formulating theories that attempt to decipher the intricacies of existence. Your unwavering pursuit of understanding the mysteries of the universe is commendable, and it is with this pursuit that you have discovered a critical tool in your quest for knowledge. And that tool is axiomatic systems. These systems are the backbone of human comprehension, providing a rational and systematic approach to comprehending the complexities of your world, and explaining its inner workings and behaviors. By utilizing the axioms and their consequences, you built a framework for exploring and explaining the intricacies of your cosmos, unraveling its mysteries, as you gradually gain a deeper understanding of its behavior. So, allow me to guide you on a journey of enlightenment and discovery, as we delve into the intricacies of axiomatic systems, and examine their critical role in aiding humanity in understanding your very world's behavior. Now, picture a tree, with roots deep in the soil, supporting branches and leaves above. This tree is a metaphor for the axiomatic system. Just like the roots of the tree, the axioms form the foundation for the entire system of consequences and theories. Each branch and leaf is a result of the stability and nourishment provided by the roots, and in the same way, the consequences and theories in an axiomatic system are the natural outcome of the underlying axioms. Thus, imagine again yourself standing in front of a massive tree, its roots deeply entrenched in the ground, reaching for the foundation of knowledge. Each root represents a fundamental truth, a basic building block, a simple yet unshakable statement, an axiom, that you have stipulated through observation. From these roots, the branches of the tree emerge, growing and branching out, representing the logical consequences of the axioms. These branches give birth to even more branches, theories and ideas that build upon each other, forming a web of interrelated knowledge. Each leaf on the tree represents a phenomenon, a concept, an observation that can be explained by the network of branches it rests upon. So, by starting with a set of axioms through observation and deducing the consequences, you build a framework for understanding and explaining complex phenomena in your world. It is a delicate balance between language, logic, and observation that when combined, might unlock the mysteries of your universe. Now, having the metaphor in your mind, an axiomatic system is a collection of axioms, definitions, and theorems that has been deductively structured. Axioms are propositions that cannot be inferred from other propositions in the system, while theorems are the axioms' deductive consequences. The axioms of Newton's theory of mechanics, for instance, are the three laws of motion. Invariant relationships are set forth between concepts like uniform motion along a straight line, change of motion, impressed force, action, and reaction. The axioms are 1. All bodies remain in a condition of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless they are forced to alter their state by external forces. 2. The amount of motive force impressed to a body determines how much the motion changes and is made in the direction of the right line where the force is impressed. 3. There is always an equal and opposite reaction to every action. Or, the interactions between two bodies are always equal and directed at opposing regions. Here, axioms serve as initial, anchoring claims in these kinds of systems that, at least within the system, do not require any justification. They serve as the theoretical system's foundation and serve as the point from which the rest of the system can be deduced via various deductive reasoning steps. So, axioms are the basic sentences within a system of sentences. Axioms are essential for building a theory, but they only specify what is true inside the specific system to which they belong. Their truth is guaranteed, but only to a certain extent. That is, only within the theoretical framework that they were initially established. When used in this manner, the acceptability of axioms rises or falls in proportion to the acceptability of the theoretical system as a whole. Thus, 
If the theoretical system is accepted, the axioms are more likely to be accepted as well. However, if the theoretical system is not accepted, then the axioms may also be questioned or rejected. Because of this, using an axiomatic approach to create a theory about your world necessitates the specification of a process for connecting the theorems of the axiomatic system to observations. And the reason for this is that, one can accept the theory you developed, if he can see that the behavior of your universe, as seen through his eyes, matches what your theory describes and predicts. Newton, for instance, often demanded that axiom systems be connected to physical world events. It is not a coincidence that Newton's most significant contribution to the theory of scientific method was this distinction between an axiom system and its empirical application. It advanced the concept of the systematic deductive organization of scientific knowledge to a new level of sophistication. The verification of the deductive consequences of the axiom system that has been interpreted empirically is an essential part when constructing a theory about your world. This means that, when constructing a theory, it is important to verify the deductive consequences of the underlying axioms in order to ensure that the theory accurately reflects real-world observations. This is done by establishing a link between the theoretical concepts and observable phenomena through careful observation. So as, every entity stipulated by a concept is linked to every real entity or process in your world. This method of linking theory to empirical observation is essential for constructing a reliable theory about your world, as it ensures that the deductive consequences of the axioms you stipulated, namely the theory, are consistent with observable reality. By establishing agreement between the theory and real-world phenomena, the theory starts to acquire the status of truth and robustness. So, to repeat, one must attempt to establish an agreement between the theorems derived from the axioms and the observed behavior of phenomena once a technique linking its terms to phenomena has been specified. The one who uses axioms may start from any point. The axiom system he develops, however, is only applicable in your reality if it can be connected to what you can observe. Note here that axiomatic systems can be found in every structured knowledge of your world that you have created. Mathematical systems, like geometry, as well as religious systems, ethical systems, and social systems among others, imitate the axiomatic model. Now, because I am concerned with your perception of your reality, theoretical systems that rely on axiomatic models to construct theories about your world must be in regular contact with your reality itself. And this is because, the theories and inferences about your world that the axioms may generate have the potential to significantly distort your perception of your universe and your place within it. A result directly related to your limited observational capacities and the ability of your language to represent or fabricate a wide range of worldly structures and images.